Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we learned about distance, rate, time, word problems. So, if I was given this problem, Kali left school and traveled toward her friend's house at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Matt left one hour later and traveled in the opposite direction with an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Find the number of hours Matt needs to travel before they are 400 kilometers apart. Okay, so let's get a little visual here. Okay, we have our school. Let's draw a little school here, a uh, little house school, right? Is there a school? Our school. Okay. They told Kali left school and traveled toward her friend's house. So she goes this direction and she's traveling. So her friend's house is somewhere over here. And she's traveling 40 kilometers per hour. They also tell us that one hour later, Matt left, okay, in the opposite direction from school. So Matt is going this way. So we have Kali and we have Matt. Matt's traveling at 50 kilometers per hour, okay? But the key thing they said, Kali had already traveled one hour. So she traveled a distance of 40 kilometers in that one hour. She traveled 40 kilometers before Matt started going in the opposite direction. Okay, so that means at this point of time, after one hour has occurred, they are 40 kilometers apart. Okay, so our overall distance here, our overall distance, all right, since distance equals rate times time, our overall distance, well, is the rate at which they are moving apart. Okay, so they're moving apart 50 and 40, so 50 kilometers per hour one direction, 40 the other. Add them together, they're moving at a distance getting apart of 90, Adam, right? Adam, 50 plus 40 is 90, 90 kilometers per hour, okay? Now we have to times that by our time. We don't know how long it will take, okay? How long it will take that. But then, we're adding, all right, we're adding the initial distance, the initial distance here of 40 kilometers. So after one hour, okay, after one hour of Kali travel, they're 40 miles away, so we make 40 kilometers away. So we make sure we add that to it, okay? Now the key here is the question, T is representing the number of hours Matt needs to travel before they are 40, 400 kilometers apart. So we have already included the one hour Cali travels right here, but this T is only representing the time Matt traveled, okay? So now we have equation and, well, distance, that's gonna be 400, that's the goal, right? So 400 kilometers equals 90 kilometers per hour times T plus 40 kilometers, okay? So now let's go solve for t. We subtract 40 to both sides, and we're left with 360 equals 90 times t. Divide both sides by 90, and we're left with, I'll put it here, t by itself. 360 divided by 90 is 4, so 4 hours. And so it will take Matt 4 hours of driving until Callie and Matt are 400 kilometers apart. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com